On a hot day in 2003, the North American power grid became dangerously unstable. In just three hours, the grid spiraled out of control, causing a massive blackout in eight U.S. states and reaching into Canada. Since then, the electrical grid has become smarter but more complex. Blackouts and brownouts are still a continuing threat, but today, there's a new tool to help manage the electrical grid more effectively. I'm Henry Huan, a power system engineer at the Pacific Northwestern National Laboratory. We have developed a new tool that helps operators to keep the electrical grid stable and reliable. It's called the Graphical Contingency Analysis Tool. Power grid operators must continually adjust the grid to make sure the right amount of electricity gets to the right places. Something as simple as a power line touching a tree can disrupt other parts of the grid, leading to power grid failures. Operators look at the various scenarios of what could happen and how they could handle it. To do this, they must examine thousands of possible configurations and anticipate potential failures with action plans. In real-time power grid operation, this process is called the contingency analysis. In current practice, Operators use tables of data to identify problems and potential solutions, but it's almost impossible to sort through hundreds of rows of raw data when you have only seconds or minutes. So operators often make quick decisions relying on their past experience, which could lead to unexpected consequences. Now with the graphical contingency analysis tool, operators can quickly visualize the impact of these scenarios and determine the best actions. Here's how this pattern pending software works. It continuously monitors power grid performance. Operators see a map of the grid and a list of possible contingencies, which are problems that need to be addressed, ranked in order of priority. They click on the contingencies to see the consequences of each one. Red lines on the grid show the system violations that would result, with line width and color intensity showing severity. Operators then run quick simulations to see what would happen if various causes of action were taken. The best actions are those where no red lines show up. Using this tool gives operators more confidence that the actions they are about to take will be effective in the shortest possible time. In fact, during tests, operators using this tool reach the effective solutions faster than with other methods in the control room. Utilities can be fined as much as $1 million for each system violation if actions are not timely or effective. So a smooth operation means fewer financial penalties. This tool is not just for real-time operation. It can also be used for planning to see where the grid is most vulnerable and uh, prevent problems before they happen. Now we're working with the electrical power community to integrate this tool into commercial platforms. My colleagues and I are proud of our work to get electricity to the right place at the right time, reliably, safely and cost-effectively. We are ready to join you in this quest.